for mainstream to have three sets on the quad stream, and you're on one, Molto's on another, and Gutbuster's on the third, and we just had the other three casters, the casters. still in bracket. So, you know what? Uh, yeah, I'm grinding, but it's not actually, yeah, but it's mostly just because I'm bad at the game. It's just, a, I mean, that's a, that's the thing, too. It's like you're. Once you get enough into the commentary game, your blocks will start being determined by how far you make it into bracket. <laughs> True. Which is crazy. I was going to say, nobody represents that better than, like, you and Reggie, I think. Yeah, dude. Especially Reggie. Oh my god, Reggie just carries abs. I, I, that man just cooks so nonstop. Alright, though. Speaking of good, we got Steezy and Infernape. He has two. This is, uh, I, think, I, I think I actually, this happened already in bracket and Infernape won. Yeah, and I mean, Infernape has been playing, you know, has always been a very good Diddy Kong here in Tri-State from over in Westchester. Mm -hmm. I mentioned earlier, he went on quite the run at Fusion on Monday as well. Really? So he's been kind of heating up as of late. He's and, awesome. mm -hmm. and I mean, honestly, making it, you know, only lose it. He lost to Steelix earlier on, who is in winner semis right now. Yep. And Winner's finals now. Winner's finals, yeah, 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 thank you. And honestly is... Probably, I would say, maybe the favorite to win the event today. So, you know, a great run from him, but Steezy not letting him get away with anything easily, right? That down air to back air combo, just crisp. There definitely had to be some adaptation between the sets that these two played earlier on. And this is also a best of five, I believe, if I recall correctly. Yes, no, yes. it is best Probably. of five. Probably. Top six is best of five, I'm pretty sure. Maybe. And the last set they played was a best of three. So there's definitely mm -hmm. had to be, the gears have to be turned into some metric. Yep. And I was going to say, seeing Infernape, Ape, Ape's play style is, is so cool because it's so different than most other Diddy Kongs. He plays so much slower. He's a lot, we see, you see a lot less, like he's just going to air neutral air dodge there instead of flip kick out like yeah. you see most Diddy's do. And really just try and ca catch your approach. You, again, you just try to use his tools as, you know, flip kick as a burst option. Use banana, use pop gun a lot more than a lot of other Diddy Kongs will. But. He, and the right, like he's trying to call you out, he's trying to play at that mid range, and it's worked a lot earlier on. But so far, Steezy for the most part locking him down, but able to bring it all the way back even right now. I think that's the X factor, too. Mm -hmm. Just patient, patient play works at all levels, yeah. especially if you're playing Diddy, because there's so many different ways to play Diddy as well. That being mm -hmm. said, Steezy keeping it hella close out here. These two can't really get a, a real pin on each other. Yeah, I love the monkey flip grab there just to kind of catch the after tech option, utilizing just how much horizontal space it covers to cover everything once you saw that miss tech come out. Trying to find the aggressive banana, that bouncing off shield means no use is expended, so he still has both of them there. The pop gun cancel going to keep it going, but missing the banana, putting it off stage, getting put in the corner for just a second, but able to maybe reset back the stage here? Oh. <laughs> He's still alive. Hit him with the street sweep, but luckily we got a jump in the bank. But again, these nares claiming another stock off Infernape. Steezy's doing a really, really good job of spacing these landing nares. This should be a stock, though, reading the tech roll to the right. And again, even Stevens, we, we could see very well Ritual in Game 5 easily. I've already called. I'm hard calling it right now. This is going to go to Game 5. Oh, I, I, I hope so, because these two players are playing on point. Mm -hmm. Just We're seeing so much adaptation. I love that pull of the pop gun there into canceling it with shield <gasps> and finding the grab mix-up. It was so smart from Infernape. Unfortunately, just not able to really capitalize afterwards. That being said, calling out the Dolphin Slash there, able to reset. Steezy now stuck on the platform, and Diddy Kong's going to ugly you seven days a week from there. I need to talk to Infernape about banking tips, because my man is so good at saving his jump, bro. <laughs> he's so good. He's not gotten edge guard in a single time when he's gotten his jump clipped by Steezy. Oh, that could have been really bad. That's another Infernape thing. We've seen him go for a couple of those throughout the bracket where he just looks for the down smash mix-up. A tool you don't really see from Diddy Kong ever. No double jump. Oh, jump drop. Went, not gonna hit, but it's not a burst. Dolphin Slash gonna take it? Okay, raw. <laughs> that was that was so raw. raw. And the thing too is, we've seen Infernape looking for those all night. Um, against Cruz earlier in bracket as well, he he got he sniped out uh, Ivy Sword Tether with just a Z drop. Didn't even go for the down air afterwards. So maybe expecting to have that situation went for the down air just to kind of cover it afterwards, but. Steezy, just beautiful situational awareness, right, to capitalize, find that Dolphin Slash, and, and close it out. So, oh, so heartbreaking. There's no jump here on Steezy. The Angel Drop like, worked, but I think the... I don't know if you can DI the Banana Throw while you're in the air so it sends you a certain way, but it looks like Steezy held in, and Infernip was expecting yeah. it to just kind of be a gimme. Yeah, and, and also that Banana, if he hadn't dropped that Banana there, Steezy was dead. Like, it was literally the banana that saved Steezy, allowed him to reversal the game. So, Infernip, you know, getting a little bit betrayed, and the Dolphin Slash just to get <laughs> yeah, out of sure. dodge. 
no stage counter pick here. Infernape feeling very comfortable with how close that game was. And honestly, in this matchup, I can't really think of a stage that wouldn't get banned that you would probably rather go to than Yeah, PS4. I agree, 100%. All right, we're looking to see if Infernape can find some sort of opening. Steezy doing a really good job, though, of not, like, overextending. But a little bit of a oopsie-daisy there leads to some damage. Yeah. Still don't get... Steezy's Ooh. been so good at getting off the ledge, honestly. And we're starting to see now, after Summit, everyone kind of got put on point by Proto, utilizing wave dashes, and we're see we've seen Steezy really utilize them. And they're great for Lucina to, uh, because you can use those iframes. Aims get kind of catch them right at the edge of the sword or and with punish really consistently. However, also very good with Marth, not on the screen right now, but fun fact, Marcina wave dash actually auto spaces Tibber. Yeah, it's a it's a vibe check for sure. Yeah. Cause like Lucina will a lot of Lucina players will try to dash in and you have to deal with the mix up mm -hmm. of whether they'll jump or they will sliding F tilt. And now that wave dashing is mm -hmm. starting to get integrated a little bit more into the meta for a lot of these players. We're going to be seeing even more mix-ups yeah. develop here. And, if, and it's also like, right, if you try to stuff out that jump or that dash in, then suddenly the wave dash, right, your iframes go through the, of, of the, exactly. that air dodge, go right through the, the catch, and then you just get the whip punish for free. Not able to find the spike, but able to call out that habit that Infernape has kind of had, where he loves to jump off ledge, throw that banana down to try and find a reversal, and by calling it, kind of baiting it out with that down air and then able to find that, the juggle to close it. Oh yeah. All right though, Infernape trying to find this damage. Still though, how do you, both these characters having kind of a hard time landing on each other. I mean, you really have to be careful when you land against Diddy and especially against Lucina as well. Yeah. One of the things that still surprises me, we mentioned it earlier, was just how few flip kicks we're seeing from Infernape when he's caught above Lucina. Because yes, she's fast. Yes, she has great tools to juggle you, but it's very hard for her to contest when Diddy, if Diddy just says, okay, we're on right side, I'm going to flip kick back over to the left and then fast all back exactly. down the stage. And we haven't seen Infernape go for it, so maybe he's holding it for future games, but he has to give himself the opportunity to play those first. And right now, he needs to find a way to open up this game too, avoid going down 2-0 if he wants to give himself the room to make those adjustments. All right, though, I love the stalls with the dancing blade right there. Trying to fish for an angel drop or some sort of ledge trap situation. I also like Infernape doing these Z-catch nares because we've seen Steezy over drift when doing a tournament winner from the ledge. And Infernape yeah. now finally adapting to it. And yeah, Steezy had a really hard time getting off that ledge there and he couldn't. And I love the mix up there from Infernape, right? Because we saw the Z-drop aerial, Z-catch aerials just in neutral. Steezy expecting the re-catch into a back air or a neutral air. Instead, Infernape mixing up the timing just a little bit, knowing that Steezy was looking for that, to react to that banana catch. And instead, able to say, I'll let the use go, take the stop. Okay, yeah, that's a big thing. That's one of the things that Steezy does that could leave him a bit susceptible to getting punished, is he does like to try and open up neutral with Dancing Blade a little bit. I guess a character like Diddy, though, where he's kind of an out-of-shield monster, this is a yeah. little tricky. I like the movement mix-up yeah. right there. And oh. excellent monkey flip. Don't even overthink it, just go. Also, I don't know if you saw it caught that. There was a, there was a little bit down till... Uh, from Infernape met by down tilt from Steezy had a little bit of a Z-axis shenanigan yeah. that, caused, <laughs> that caused Lucina down tilt to miss. Something you don't see very often up smash, though going to call you out, not close it out though, even with that max range. 119, we're getting to the kill percent point, That's but on the large blast zones, yeah. you have it there, even with the staling. That right. being said, every little bit was necessary to close that one. And it just absolutely, I, I think absolutely just beautiful stuff from both players. Yeah. And your prediction started off pretty good here, 1-1. One, one. That's what I'm saying. I, I I could tell both these players, the gears are definitely turning their heads. I think Infernape adapted really, really well that game two right here. I mean, we saw so many situations where instead of just opting for the banana, we were using the banana like, Z-catches yeah. to control space as opposed to mm -hmm. trying to open up neutral and set up a ledge trap. Also, then, like, just look at this for a second. So the down air comes up knowing the that and just the spacing to be just inside to fade out that banana and because your back is to it as well even if you're not when it comes down you can still dash away and get that up there this is gorgeous they were running it back i am not going to be surprised if we see a full ps2 set here uh there is no dsr in this bracket we don't believe in that we don't believe in mr david and his stupid rule yeah and no three bands either so definitely a lot with the full eight stages is 
on that kind of larger side of ultimate, of kind of the standard side, within that standard range of ultimate rule set sizes, it's, it's definitely on that larger side. And with only two bands, I'll, we're gonna, we have the potential for more stage variety, but nothing beats an old classic. It's just that when you're when you put two confident players against each other, also they are gonna run it back every day of the week because for them it's not a stage issue. It's okay. I played wrong there. Let me correct that real quick. And absolutely, the reason that stage is such a popular starter is that everyone tr truly believes that this is a like true neutral stage. For it should be SPF. Not I could agree with the SPF I agree uh, with that. propaganda. That being said, that that banana gonna close it out. Out, we've we're seeing early on this game, Infernape just completely change in how he's utilizing banana. After at the very beginning, I think Steezy was able to get a hold of a couple, throw them back, try and find some advantage stage. So now we're seeing Infernape start to play a lot more aggressive and Ooh. just throw these bananas in and immediately chase them every single time. Pretty desperately clawing also to hold on to this lead right here. I mean, we're seeing this mid range, a couple nuts being fired off here or there, but just to keep Steezy at bay. Yep. Tried to get another Z drop, no shenanigans happening there, but I like this, and Ferdip is doing such a good job of calling out Steezy every time he decides to land. Absolutely, and I think the pop gun was intended to be B reverse there, yeah. didn't find its mark. And it was interesting to see him go for the edge guard rather than go pick Banana back up. While well, on one hand, I understand wanting to keep the aggression <laughs> going. And Banana, I think there is so crucial to keeping that advantage state going, and Diddy has the speed to get back over to ledge that He's lucky he didn't oh. quite get reversal, but the slide, the sliding, just the pivot down tilt. Oh Crispy. my god, that was gorgeous. If you're, if you're Diddy and you haven't mastered your movement yet, you got to know an excellent chase right there on the yeah. air dodge. It's Infernape is playing, is locked in, honestly, playing very Come patiently. On. Steezy, with how floaty Lucina is, it can make it a little bit difficult to oh, get down against He uh, went Diddy. for it. That's actually a combo, but unfortunately Infernape just dropping yeah. the timing. That's his 0 to 80 mm -hmm. um, if you're able to land that, and those barrels can true combo in that situation, but again, just missing the timing. Getting the banana ball oh! into the second one, covering the missed up air, but Fang, he, Infernape just dropping these a little bit. He has the opportunity to parry on point, but Dolphin Slash not going to close it out, and now it's a Lucina with a banana. This could be Steezy's way back into this game. It's tough now, because Steezy, Steezy a lot of time was catching over aggression from Infernape to get a lot of the leads. Now it's on the opposite foot, where Infernape has kind of tampered or tapered his gameplay to that aggression. So now Steezy's not allowed to just mash aerials on landing for free every time. We have to be very, very careful of how we're going to land against Diddy Kong because that banana will lead into a guaranteed whiff punish yeah, every time. Infernape's done a great job of kind of baiting Steezy to go to these platforms, arms, letting him get away with a couple landings just like we saw there in order to condition in those plat landings so that he can catch them later on when it's more important. Ooh, Even like still, that. though, he's dropped a lot of his punishes on those landings on plat, and now CZ is starting to have an opportunity to potentially, if he can find his way back down, claw his oh. way back into the set. Gonna get into the multi-hit right there. I feel like the only thing that can save Steezy here is like some rampant shield breaker. Because we've noticed Infernape oh, trying to shield a lot of landing. That should be yeah. the game right there, though, with an excellently timed monkey flip. So he's like, you want to run it back? Yes, he's like, no, no, no. I've, I've had enough. Yeah, Tapping out. I'm saying uncle. And that was gorgeous, honestly, mm -hmm. um, from just there from Infernape. Steezy just not quite able to recognize the situation there with that banana. He buffered the roll. And this by the, by the time you realize, oh, wait. Oh no, it's just too late, right? Once again, some fantastic pop guns here. We see, right, they're just placing the banana, and like, this is so gorgeous. See, this face says it all. Like, it's so pretty. We see it got caught like, off guard. He, because you don't normally, right? We just see the tilt toss, that soft toss, and the down throw is what really tripped up Steezy there. Because you're used to seeing the Z drop, you're used to seeing a threat, and you're not used to just seeing, okay, I'm gonna down throw banana. To just leave it on stage and just run away. Exactly. Hey, and so Steezy kind of got caught looking for an aggressive option, and Infernape capitalized, now one away. And what do you think of the Hall of Bastion counter pick here? I like it for sure. This top platform is going to make it a little bit better for Steezy because he can trap Infernape above on it, and he has some options for mobility in case he can't. Because we noticed a lot of the last game, Steezy couldn't really land at all in any area safely, whether it was a platform or near the stage. Now that you have this giant sweeping middle platform, Steezy's going to be able to have a lot more 
variety of how he decides to attack getting back to the stage. Yeah, absolutely, but with Banana, with Pop Gun, if Diddy's able to control neutral early on, like we're seeing here, it can be really hard for Lucina to dislodge him. As with really any item character, any projectile character, when you have that center plat, you're very much able to set up a little Just bit sit of a under house. It. Yeah. You're in a house. That being said, uh, Lucina playing the landlord when your rent's overdue, coming <laughs> and serving the eviction notice right there, taking that first off. Listen, you're like two months late here. I don't even know if you're paying for electricity at this point. You, you need to get out of here. Well, I mean, uh, she's from the medieval times, so I don't, I don't think she is. I think she's good without it. That being said, she's also good without that first stop because uh, Fang, I mean... Infernape not letting you get away with too much of a lead here, just racking on the damage and using that platform to the fullest on his own as well. Alright, big fair coming out right here. Steezy, for as one-sided as this has looked, the damage Steezy has been getting off has been quite substantial on Infernape. Absolutely. And I like these nares. I like these rising nares a lot because they're just kind of throwing... Like, if Infernape, Infernape, Infernape throws the banana, it'll probably get caught. And if he decides to approach with like a monkey flip, it'll also get caught. I, I like that we're doing them rising instead of landing because that is where Infernape is trying to get and most of the mileage from. We're seeing more monkey flip grabs come out because Infernape, because of the center plat, is throwing banana on shield more, conditioning <laughs> Steezy to keep throwing shield. Because if that shield banana hit shield, most of the time it's going to bounce to that center right. plat so, uh, where Diddy can kind of get it semi uncontested a lot of the time off the movement. Great up smash catch to close it out. And then he's starting to mix in those grabs as well, right? For really punishing in Steezy, saying, okay, if you're either going to grab oh him and the banana. Oh my god, what? that could have led to something insane. Yeah, if, if, if Infernape, if it was just slightly further over, if he was able to get that retrip again, that, he was cooking. Scary option to pick right there, especially when you're about to lose your stock, but pays off in spades for Infernape right here. So much damage being tacked on. Once it, again, man. These Infernape's ledge are... trapping has been ridiculous. I feel like CZ has been spending like 90% of these games at ledge. Yeah, and honestly, Infernape's um, projectile usage has just been so creative, right? Both Pop Gun and Banana, we're just seeing so many non traditional uses. Especially with the of, movement mix ups as well. Oh, tape it into there. that would have been Diddy it. Moment. But yeah, no, That's unfortunately, no, not on this Ooh. stage. Hollow Bastion getting those kind of FD sized blast zones means okay, that you okay. live a little bit longer. That being said, 149, you really can't get hit by anything. <laughs> Alright, CZ now, now finally having solid ground to so start slicing and dicing their way to this fight. Can't hit Diddy's shield for free. That up smash is the fastest in the game. Yeah, tied tied for it with Charizard oh, that for was sure. It. Yeah, that was three one. Unfortunately, right, no so game five. So my prediction five. not coming to fruition. Because, but, it, but that's because Infernape just really he snapped. He just snapped. snapped. And like this game, he was cooking. I loved at the end, even though it didn't work out. The nair attempt from Steezy, an upper would have been safer, but he tried to find that stage, right? Ch control, cheese out a little bit of an early stock off an edge guard, and like it's what you have to do when you're down that much. But it just, it just wasn't able to find it. But like this is such a good, for example, like this is such a good. You pull banana, and then the pop gun. Un comes out here. We're seeing the commitment and, already to the yeah, tournament winner. But, catches it with the mm -hmm, banana. The either, nut covers it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like you have oh. to catch an item there. And if you I'm catch, stressed. if you Looking catch, this. if you catch pop gun here, right, you get hit by banana. Yeah. And if you catch banana and don't air dodge, you get hit by pop gun, which confirms. But now you're in air dodge and lag and have to reset. Ah, uh, see, and it just allows you to get caught by Steez whatever. Steezy passed the first stage mm -hmm. of it right there and tried to force his way in just a little bit yeah. more. Like, we saw right there the entire... Re like, he could have just upbeat again right here. Yeah, but you you have Banana, you want to make use. Yeah. And it, I love the discipline from Infernape, right? A lot of players are going to try and push buttons here, but Infernape says, okay, you have Banana, you're off said, you're going to try to conserve your resources by using mine, so I'm just going to hold it and then punish not the... What's crazy is he doesn't punish... He, the banana itself, he says, okay, it's gonna bounce. You're gonna try and right recat like look, he's recatching the banana with a buffered up air here. So if you if you see this come out, right, you see that the startup of that up air trying to catch a jump out of shield, and Infernape's just ready for it because he knows exactly how that banana is gonna play off the shield, and it was just it was such, there were so many levels to that ledge trap that were all, like, he wasn't, he was playing on reaction, sure, but he knew what was going to happen. He got exactly the setup he was looking for in that checkmate scenario, and it's just, like, it's the type of creative heads-up play that you 
see a lot from other item characters like Snake, but you don't necessarily see as much with Diddy Kong just because of how aggressive a lot of people play the right. character. Yeah, exactly. It's true. But that extra patience honestly mm -hmm. goes the extra mile. It's, that West, it's the Westchester, it's the Westchester, man. Yeah, they're very you, patient. Yeah.